Now, you might be wondering, what does martial arts at all have to do with compassion? I mean, is it about beating people up and looking really good doing it, right? But you see, what I've really come to understand throughout the years is, is that if we teach someone how to kick and punch and possibly harm someone, we have to balance that out by how we can heal people, either with our touch or with our words, or with our actions. And so I had opened up the school, and even at that time, I was just, I was wrought with fear. What if it fails? I have two boys I have to care for. What, what if it doesn't work out? And I remember the day that it changed. I was standing in my office and looking out on the map through the window, and there was about three or four kids there, and they were warming up and getting ready to go. And I said, you know, I'm tired of being scared. I'm tired of being frightened about this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to act as if there aren't four kids on the map. I'm going to act as if there's 20. And every time I go out on the mat, I'm going to act that way. I'm going to be what I want to be before I even have it. And I'm going to pretend that I'm a successful business person. I make an impact on people. And every time I went out on the floor, I compelled myself to that commitment. Well, guess what happened? Within a year, we had over 200 students at our school. Now, let me put that in perspective for you. The average school in the United States at that time had only 80 students. And we had almost two and a half times that. Here he most people live their lives this way. They live their lives from the standpoint of have, do, be. Have, do, be. When I have enough money, then I'll do the things I want to do, and then I'll be happy. Can anyone relate to that? Yeah, absolutely. How about this? When I have more time, then I'll do the vacations that I want to do with my family, and then I'll be a better father and husband. When I have more clients, then I'll do the expansion in my business, and then I'll be successful. And you see what happens is we're constantly chasing what we want to have. And when we're doing that, even when we get it, we just don't have the same feeling of, of, of satisfaction. And we just keep looking for the next thing. So what he said to me is, is why don't you try this out? Why don't you look at life from a perspective of this way? Why don't you think about living from a perspective of be, do, have? Do you want to be happy? Do you want to be loving, courageous, confident, trusting? What do you want to be? And then just start doing it or just start being that way right now. Doesn't matter how much money's in your bank account, doesn't matter what your relationships look like, doesn't matter where you live, just be that way. Then do the things that support that. And then you can have whatever you want. So back hand. <laughs> right hand. Duck left. Duck right. Good. Right hand. Right hand. Duck right. Duck right. One more time. Go left. Right. Duck. Right. Duck. Duck. I really want for you that you expand 
that when, when fear comes in, that, that rather than turning the other way, that you lean into it, and that you have compassion for yourself when those things come present. And I also really hope that you accept where you're at, and that you can surrender and ask for help when you really need it, so that you can be a full expression of who you truly are.